we're going to rate, I can use the ratios as rates. Thank you, Alan. Very clear. Um, ratios as rates. So, y'all, we talked about a ratio on Wednesday. A ratio compares, not ask questions, I want answers, right, from all of you. A ratio compares how many amounts? Two, Two. Two amounts. Nice, I love it. A ratio is a fraction. And remember, a ratio can be written like this, A over B, A colon B, or A to B, right? Now, a rate is also a fraction. It also compares how many amounts? Two. But, remember the big butt we talked about? Yeah. But it compares two amounts with different labels. An example of that would be miles per hour. Or if you're checking your heart rate, you would say beats per minute. Miles and hours are different labels. Beats and minutes are different labels. Yes, no? Yeah. Okay. Now, going to an even more specific type of rate, we're going to talk about a unit rate. A unit rate, again, compares how many amounts? Two. Another big butt. Yes. It's our second big butt. But the second amount or the second number is always going to be the number one. So I, we don't know the labels at all, but would that be considered a unit rate? Yes. Would this be considered a unit rate? No. Because why? That's not a number one. Nice job, you guys. This is good. This is really good. Fun facts. Rates often use the word. Per. per. And if you have a fraction, the per is usually this. What's that called? A fraction bar. A fraction bar. One per two. All rates have different labels. We've already talked about that. And here's our example. Uh, Miss Gamby ran 80 laps in 20 minutes. Right? This is a rate. We know this can be a rate. We know this can be a rate because we have a label of what? Ten. We have a label of what? Laps. And we have a label of what? Minutes. So we have 80 laps per minutes. per 20 minutes. What does this line mean again? What's the word? Per. So 80 laps per 20 minutes. She's pretty slow, isn't she? Okay, now if we slide down, number seven said, write this as a unit rate. Well, how do you get that second number to a one? Because you guys told me unit rates end in a one, right? So how do we get this 20 minutes down to one minute? What do we do? Reduce. What do we do? Reduce. Reduce. A lot of you like to say simplify. You just simplify so that you get that second number as a one. Last thing, Miss Miller. She eats hot dogs. She ate 25 in five hours. But if I'm up here. So we know that she can eat 25 hot dogs in five hours. We want to write a unit rate. So we have to reduce. 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 And if you're reduced by dividing by a common factor, we're in each of that five hot dogs per one hour. Questions?